Hey everyone, good morning. Well, if it's morning where you are, it's a good morning here. It's a little bit chilly, but I think it's gonna warm up today and it's gonna be nice. I am on the road. We are going to run, I have to run some errands. I gotta pick up the slip clutch for the baler because today we're gonna be baling hay and I need to get that um, part before we can actually hook the baler up to the tractor. So um, I'm making some errands right away this morning and then um, this afternoon we will be baling the hay. So that'll be fun. So it feels like the hay is pretty dry here. Just wanna make sure it kinda has a crunch to it. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. So we're gonna end up raking this this afternoon and then baling it. They're gonna probably pick up the bales. All we'll all be working at it at the same time. So that's what we're gonna do. There it is. All right. So I got the part. I got the part here, and I picked up some more twine because. We just want to have some extra on hand and we needed some more welding rods so I picked some of those up and yeah now I'm back home and get this baler put back together and get baling some hay. While I was out running the errands I stopped to the P.O. box because that was on the way to picking up the parts and I had a package in the P.O. box and I'm gonna show you what they gave us. This come from Roy and Karen. I think they're from Maryland. And they had the sweetest letter saying how they um, found our channel and how they loved it. It was great to read. And I really just love hearing how people find our channel. And so he, they both sent us this. This is Lancaster Farming. It's a newspaper with lots, lots of paper. <laughs> so the guys are gonna be reading that. I probably will look at part of it as well. And then Karen, she must be somewhat crafty. She made me this. It says acres of clay on it. And on the back, it has a cow with some hoof prints. So cute, I love this. It's like a little milk jug. I'm gonna have to find a place for this. But I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, I just blessed my day to be able to um, hear from you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you. So we're going to be raking with the 55, the open cab, so Kevin can get a nice tan. Yep. <laughs> and here's the hay rake. We've had this hay rake for many moons. Many moons. Yeah, we've had it. Uh, well, we bought this in the baler at the same time. Yeah, something wrong. Many moons means many days. Many days. Many years. How do we say many years? Mm -hmm. It's it's done well for us. Yeah. Um. Sometimes we replace these wheels. Sometimes we replace just the uh, spokes. What are these called? Uh, the tines. Tines. Or break teeth. Teeth, whatever. What do you got? A wad? Yeah. Oh wow. Yep, you're gonna need your knife. So here's the old, uh, the old slip disc. Yeah. Slip clutch. Actually, it's called a brake liner. It's, like it's a, supposed to look like this, people. Yeah. So that's and now it looks like that. That's what happens when you. Somebody uh, smoked it. Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, try to start it with a wad or plug it. No. So we'll clean that up. Put new one on. Yep, we'll clean her up.
that's the plate that you were supposed to clean up. You have to take it back apart. You wondered where it went? Oh. Take two. <laughs> we forgot one of the plates. I didn't. I found it. After we had it put together. Best to replace all of the, uh, what are the all these discs, but no, they only had one. So we're gonna do with make do with what they had. out the PTO to the large 1000. Metric also. left with the rake he's going ahead of me just a little ways and he's raking it and then I'm coming behind with the baler and then one of the boys is gonna come with the semi and load up the bales as I bail them so that's the plan I'm heading to the field right now and oh, let's get this started some of you wonder if I bring water I do have a jug of water today. Um, I don't always bring water with me when I'm mowing, but when I'm bailing, I always bring water because you're working in a much dustier environment. And if I have to get out and clean that baler, 
I'm gonna need water, so. All right, let's get this thing going. On the road again. Make sure everything's good. We will see you in the field. I didn't give the baler a bath, so it's pretty dusty looking, but that's all right. up all the hay bales they're all behind me here and they've got them put away already we didn't get as many bales as we had hoped because of a late frost that we had and it suppressed the hay and it didn't grow and stool out like it normally does so I'm not sure if we're gonna go in and plant some grass in there or if we're just gonna see what second cutting does I'm not sure yet what Kevin has planned for that but here it is Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're having a very blessed day. Take care. <laughs>